What you guys got another video here for you on how to activate Windows 10 with get help. Now if you're having trouble with Windows 10 activation and it's not activating and you want to activate it uh, you can do it with the get help which is built into Windows 10 and that is what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to take you through the steps of activating Windows 10 and if you get the error message that I got and you know you've got a legitimate key that is working then you can go through the procedure that I'm showing you. So right click and go to system. Once you're inside here you want to uh, have a look here for your change product key, upgrade your edition of Windows. That's what I'm going to click on here and this will give us the uh, Windows report that no product key was found and that's because we haven't activated it yet and we haven't added our key in. So we need to click on change product key uh, so we can add in our product key. Now you need to put in your product key. Now depending on where you purchased your product key you can go ahead and put your product key inside here and uh, basically this will hopefully activate Windows 10 for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the product key that I've got which I've purchased and I'm just going to put that into the box here. Now once I've got that in there I can then click on next and it should then give me the option to activate Windows. So let me go ahead and click on activate and uh, if you get activated that means you've got a good um, activation done and you can then stop watching this video but if you're getting an error message that I've got here then I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now I know my key is legitimate and it has not been used in any other machine and it's not been activated before so what I'm going to do here is click on the start button and click on get help and this is going to open up our virtual agent. You need to give it uh, some questions I'm going to say activation and see what it comes up with. It asks me to be a little bit more descriptive basically on the problem that I'm receiving so I'm going to go ahead and put in here can't activate Windows 10 Pro. Now I've got the tripod in front of the keyboard here so it's a little bit difficult to type and I don't want to jog the uh, tripod so hence the uh, slow typing but what I'm going to do is let that go in and you can see here activate Windows 10 that's what I'm going to go on so it says what do you mean activate Windows 10 let's try again which version of Windows do you want Windows 10 and now it's giving me uh, some options here so I'm going to go activate Windows 10 and activate in a new device because this is a brand new PC um, if you've got activating first time installation that will be something else but I'm going to go with activating a new device which is a new computer basically. So now it's saying were you able to activate Windows 10? I'm going to say no and now it's going to say are you trying to activate Windows 10 on this PC or a different PC and I'm going to say this PC because this is the one I'm trying to activate. So what I need to do here now is let that try to activate for me. It's going to do some checking and see if it can figure out the issue that I'm having with this PC. So it's going to check and it will check the key that I've used and it will obviously try and find that key. So you can see here now it's saying it's found my installation ID and it's going to try and resolve my issue. And it's saying have you, cop have you installed this copy of Windows on another PC? No I haven't. Great, hold on one moment and it's going to go ahead and do some checking for me. It's now found my installation ID and it's going to try to activate my version of Windows for me but it's asking me to sign into Microsoft. So I need to sign into my Microsoft account so it can go ahead and clarify who I am and uh, that I have actually uh, got this key. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sign into my Microsoft account and we're just going to let that go through and check for us. It's now come back here after it's checked and it knows the key is valid. So what it wants me to do now is type in here this command here and this will open up a window where I can then put in the activation code that it's given me. So I'm going to go to and select my language. In this case you can see there's a bunch of languages here but I've got the United Kingdom so I'm going to go there and click next. Now it's asking me to type in that big key code that it gave me to activate Windows and I'm going to now click on activate Windows and hopefully this will activate and as you can see thanks you're all done it's now activated my version of Windows. Now the reason why this has worked because it was a valid key and it knows it was a valid key 
and what it's done is it's checked all that for me and it's come back and clarified that that key was um, valid and it wasn't used on another system. So if I go into system information now, we should see that the uh, Windows has been activated and we've got a, a legitimate version of Windows 10 Pro. Now, if you're not using a legitimate key and you're trying to activate Windows, it won't work. It will detect that it's been used before and it won't allow you to activate that version of Windows. So you have to have a legitimate key which isn't in use. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been useful to you. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.